Shrimp looks like he's just so tentative with his shot. Not comfortable at all, not confident. And Matt with Detlef in the locker room beforehand. It, it was disappointing to see the somber, almost defeated attitude. Sean Kemp from Gary Payton. He's older than you. you these things happen. Right? You had to see Rodman or anticipate Rodman wanting that technical to draw that attention to himself early, make himself a factor. There is Kemp. Nice move. have taken the lead for the first time since the end of the second quarter in game two. Jordan shot blocked by Kemp. Percy Hawkins just can't find the range, but able to hang in to make the defensive play. And it leads to the bucket by Kemp. Try to pull it in. Shot clock is down to five. Assist to turnover ratio. It's about time they got back to playing their brand of basketball. 7 0 run by the Bulls. Kemp fires. Mark by the shooting of Tony Kukoc. The chant of defense. Strong and picked off by Kemp. Our Chicago offense has terrible spacing right now, in particular Luke Longley. Phil Jackson a moment ago during that timeout upset with Longley. Here's Kemp. Yes! And the foul! A foul called on Longley. We've seen Sean Kemp grow so much and mature as he's coming and moves off the penetration. No double clutch there, just a good, strong power windmill dunk. If you, if you can't stop penetration, there's no way your defense can react at the hoop when Sean Kemp is coming to finish. Longley with his fourth foul, three-point play for Kemp. He has 13 points. Now played by Brown. Brown, a very strong defensive player. Payton goes right at him. And a nice setup for Kemp. Sonics by 21 points. Seattle is just getting to the hoop. Down to within 10. They're down 14. If they can stay right at that 10 point difference to the start of the fourth, they'll be right there. They'll be happy with that. And Bill Seattle has led by as many as, as 23. So the Bulls in the midst of their second run. Kemp. of Kemp too much. That was a human facial. <laughs> Out of 50 seconds to go, third quarter. Perkins. <laughs> by Kemp, who was able to get inside of Dennis Rodman. 64, 65. Michael Jordan, as you saw, setting it out here at the start of the fourth. So Brown and Kerr on the floor with Longley, Rodman, and Pippen. Kemp with the fake around Longley. That looked too easy. Nice defense. Four of 14. He has nine points. The Bulls' worst loss of the season. Regular season and playoffs. Once again, Kemp gets inside. March 10th. You see the closeout defense by Seattle that time. That's the mark of their... <laughs> oh, boy.
up against the Chicago Bulls. How did you achieve such a complete reversal and get back to Sonics basketball in this game? You know, I think we just came out. We played uh, basketball for 48 minutes today. And, uh, you know, to win a championship, that's what you have to do. You have to play for 48 minutes, a complete game, and uh, that's what we did today. And uh, if we come back out Friday with the same type of intensity and energy, it'll be the same result. How do you approach game five now? Nobody expects you to come back and beat these guys three games in a row, and you know Jordan's going to have a huge game in all likelihood. We just come back try to play the same way. Everybody plays aggressive. Everybody plays defense. Everybody runs back. Everybody dies on the floor. You do what you have to do to pitch in and help your teammate out, and if we do that, our chances are great. Did you sense that they were overconfident after the win came so easily for them in game three? Yeah, we thought they were a little overconfident. We thought that uh, we were losing our confidence, and uh, the last thing that you want to do is make it to a championship series and not win a game. You know, the ball movement seemed to really confuse them defensively. Was that a big difference for you offensively? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, and also, we attacked their press. When they pressed us tonight, we attacked it, and uh, we got better results. Okay, Sean, great effort, and Thanks we will see you in two days. Marv? All right, Hannah, a magnificent night for the Rain Man. High score in the game with 25 points to lead the Sonics over the Bulls, and the Bulls now lead it three games to one. We'll be right back.